Hello, I'm Susanna Quincy and Director of the Learning Development Centre at the University. Today I'm going to give you an update on the Strategic Learning Environment Evaluation, or SLE as we call it. So, what is the SLE? Well, it is the creation of an integrated online environment to support the university's research and educational activities using a variety of different tools and techniques. The strategic learning environment vision came from a workshop that included staff from schools and central services working together to understand how we wanted to support staff and students in improving the educational experience over the next three to five years. It encompasses a number of different things. So learning and research assets. How do we manage our knowledge that we already have within the university? How could we share assets, materials, ideas between different programmes and different modules, different schools and different services. It also encompasses the academic model, so how we manage our programmes and how we give information to students. Perhaps we could do that in a variety of different ways. Perhaps we could use more techniques in how we deliver blended learning to students to, for better engagement. It also encompasses collaboration and communication tools. How do we want to communicate with students? How do we want to communicate as staff? And how could we improve this? And how could new technologies and changes to what we do actually enable communication to be a lot easier? It also covers professional and personal development activity. So how we monitor what we're doing and how we reflect on it and how we can use that to improve in the future. The idea is that we have a core set of virtual learning environment functionality that over time we pare down and that we bring in a set of enhancement tools around it. So at the moment, most of our virtual learning environment activity goes through city space. Over time, we want to bring in a new piece of software to cover that functionality, and which is much more flexible. And then we can start to develop a more responsive system based on our needs. So what have we achieved so far? Over the last year or so, we held a big evaluation of all our learning technologies and what we were really trying to achieve with our students. The most important message is that this is not about technology, but it's about changing what we do, thinking about what we do with students, and really trying to work out how we can best deliver education and how we can engage staff. The upshot of the evaluation activity was that we chose a piece of software called Moodle to deliver that core VLE functionality. The important thing about Moodle is that it's an open source learning environment. This means that it gives us the opportunity to work much more flexibly and bring in new tools to meet our own specific needs. So where do we go from here? We have an 18 month timescale in which to move things from city space into Moodle. We've already started a set of initial implementations with Moodle and have about 12 courses with 1000 students live on the system at the moment. Over the next 18 months, we will be working very closely from the Learning Development Centre and Information Services with schools to bring you on board and engage you in how to, to redesign and redevelop your courses, to pick up new opportunities and really to think about how we want to enhance the educational experience for our students. We are planning much more wide-scale usage from September 2010 and then phasing out any use on city space from February 2011. The most important thing to remember is that city space will not be available from September 2011. This is about change. It's about changing what we do. It's about changing the way that we work and thinking whether the way that we're working currently will be, meet the needs of our students in the future. We're very fortunate with the project that we've been given one staff member per school and a new post to work with the project to actually embed these technologies and these new ways of working within the school structures. These posts will work with you to engage you in that redesign and redevelopment activity and taking a back to basics approach to the enhancement agenda. So thinking about what do you really want to achieve with your students? How do you want to communicate with them? What problems do you currently have? And how could we work to solve these? The other important thing to remember is that this is about fitting in to strategic objectives in the university. So think of the strategic learning environment as an enabling tool for other strategic objectives like the undergraduate review, like the review of our knowledge and, and research activities, and like the review of rewarding and performing staff. So these activities enable us to achieve these strategic 
learning environment. So where do we go from here? In the future, there'll be a number of challenges. How do we look at responsibilities? Who will be responsible for what? How do we control identities? How will we manage that and deal with multiple identities? But there'll also be new opportunities for engagement, for re-engaging staff and sharing good practice. At the moment, there's some fantastic practice going on in schools in relation to learning and teaching activity, but we want to find out more about it and share that across the whole university. There'll also be great opportunities for collaboration, so working together between schools and services and within programmes and modules. There's the opportunity to learn much more about how we want to treat students in the future and how we want to engage with them and to make better use of the knowledge and information that we have within the university currently. If you'd like to know more about the strategic learning environment or you'd like to get involved with Moodle in particular, please contact the Learning Development Centre.